Hello again boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are going to begin our exploration on how to add and subtract fractions. We are in our math journals on page 155, Fraction Decomposition, uh, Unit 5, Lesson 1. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at that word in the title, decomposition. Okay. Um, a composer is someone who uh, writes music or organizes uh, different instruments into a beautiful piece of music. Uh, a composition notebook is where you uh, put together your ideas when you are writing. When you decompose something, that uh, prefix DE tells us that it's the opposite, okay, it's breaking down. So when something decomposes, uh, like when you see a banana going brown, that means that uh, that uh, once living thing is being broken down into its uh, uh, base elements. Um, when something uh, decomposes, like a dead plant, it, it breaks down into the minerals and uh, uh, the organisms that uh, help feed the soil. Now, what are these science terms have to do with math? Well, when we decompose a fraction, all we're really doing is we're just taking apart that number and breaking it down into smaller parts, okay? Now, just a quick refresher. We have two parts to a fraction, a numerator, which is the top number up here. That's the numerator. And then we have the denominator, which is the bottom part. The numerator, of course, tells us how many parts. And the denominator reminds us how many parts were there possible in all. So a fraction of 5 twelfths is uh, a number that represents 5 parts out of a total of 12 parts. Now, the instructions say write an equation to show each fraction as the sum of a unit fraction. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to think about the numerator for just a moment. We're going to ignore the denominator for just a minute, and we're just going to think about the top number. So what is 5? Okay, well 5 is 5 ones. And what is 5 ones? Well, 5 can be organized into a couple different ways. For example, 5 is the sum of 2 plus 3. Right? Now, if I think of 2 plus 3 equals 5, I can also think of 2 twelfths plus 3 twelfths will give me 5 twelfths. Okay, so I'm simply just adding the parts. Now when I am adding fractions, I only add fractions of a like denominator, meaning that the bottom number has to be the same. And uh, fortunately for these exercises in this lesson, all the denominators are going to be the same. Okay, so 2 twelfths plus 3 twelfths gives me 5 twelfths. So that's one way of thinking about 5 twelfths. Another way we can think about it is that 5 is simply 5 ones. Or in other words, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. 5 ones. Now again, if those ones are representing twelfths, I would put my denominator under it like so. And that would give me another equation that shows me uh, how to get to 5 by adding 1's. So 5 twelfths is the combination of 5 sets of 1 twelfths being added together. Now there are lots of different ways that you could uh, compose uh, an equation. So you could flip around the 2 and the 3, so 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths you could also incorporate 1 twelfth plus 4 twelfths, because of course 1 plus 4 gives us 5. So 1 twelfth plus 4 twelfths would give us 5 twelfths. So any of these solutions would work. 
Okay. So I'll let you experiment with number two on your own. Now, let's take a look at number three. So we have these fraction circles, and as you can see, all four circles have been cut up into ten parts. So that means the circle has been cut into tenths. And it says decompose seven tenths into a sum of fractions with the same denominator in three different ways. Record each decomposition with an equation and justify each one by shading the parts of the circle. Now, what does all that mean? Well, simply put is we're going to uh, create a, a number sentence, an addition problem using fractions, and we are going to represent each add end or the numbers that we are adding together by shading in parts of this uh, fraction circle. So as you can see in this example, we have five tenths shaded in right here. So five of the ten parts are colored in with this darker blue. And then we have two tenths shaded in in a lighter shade of blue to represent the second add end. Then we also have these three tenths over here that aren't shaded in at all. These represent uh, the fact that there could be a total of ten tenths, but we we're only thinking about seven tenths total. Okay? So five plus two gives us seven. Okay? What's another way we can think about seven tenths? What's another way we can add two numbers together to get to seven? Well, another combination we could use is one plus 6, because 1 plus 6 also gives us 7. So 1 tenth plus 6 tenths would give us a total of 7 tenths. So what I would do is I would shade in 6 of my pie slices, and then I would shade in 1 pie slice a different color. So let's use yellow. for my six tenths, like so. I'll use green for my one tenth, okay? So here's my one tenth here, and here are my six tenths right here. One plus six gives me seven. And that's pretty much it. That's how I would represent this amount just using a, a, a fraction circle. So when we think about the word justify, that is uh, part of the instructions, it's just a fancy way of saying color in. So I'm just going to color in some different pie slices to represent different uh, ways to get to seven. But instead of just seven holes, we're talking about seven tenths. Okay? Uh, I am fully confident that you are able to come up with two more ways to add two numbers together to get to seven, to give us different equations. Uh, maybe uh, your uh, addition problem involves three add-ins, or maybe uh, it involves a multitude of add-ins. But in the off chance that you still don't understand this concept, uh, you need to talk to your math teachers. They are here to help you uh, navigate these new concepts. So don't be afraid to ask some questions. Okay? I hope this was helpful. Uh, until we meet again, good luck, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks.